Hey, what's going Smith on, YouTube? Um. Wow. When you have so easy to solve the RAM problem. I now oh, came to, to realize not everyone know the difference between your vagina wow. and your you cervix or your uterus. And you just and um, that was confirmed to me when I had gone for my vagina ultrasound. They gave me an ultrasound, a regular one, and they couldn't see the baby from on top of my stomach, so they wanted to go in my vagina to see the baby from the bottom. I'm very early, you know, and if you're very early in your pregnancy, that's you don't you can refuse it you don't have to do it um if you don't understand it and stuff like that they'll explain it to you there they should explain to you what they're going to do to you first um if you're not comfortable then you don't have to do it it's still early it doesn't mean that there's no baby there or whatever your baby's fine it's just that they're trying to measure the baby the fetus that is pretty much a dot size and determine a heartbeat when I don't know a lot of people when they're that early you can't determine a heartbeat like it's everything is still being formed and made and stuff like that but anyways <sighs> cut that stuff I just realized that some people don't know the difference between your vagina and your cervix and when I had gone for my vagina ultrasound, the woman told me that she has to put the long, big-ass block thing, pole or whatever, in inside my vagina, in my cervix, meaning she had to open or force that thing in my cervix. And I was like, hell no. I'm like, won't that cause a miscarriage? Me knowing that it would, because it will cause of course bleeding for sure and a excruciating pain she's like <laughs> we do this this is what we do okay hun you don't know the difference between a vagina and cervix anybody can look at this tool that they use to do a to give vagina ultrasound that there's no way that thing could fit inside your cervix a lot of people I don't know if people know their bodies but your cervix is this small. Okay, do you see that? This. And it's... Even your pinky, when you go and get checked to see how far you're dilated, when the doctors shove their finger in this, that's very uncomfortable. And it hurts. Okay? If it hurts. I've sat in the hospital about to get mine done, and I'm hearing people behind the curtain screaming their head off. It's really painful. There's no way a big ass thing like this with a long ass pole is going in your cervix. There's no way. Definitely cause miscarriage. For sure. Look it up. I mean, I was so terrified and I'm like, come on now. I know there was a speech barrier thing there. She's Chinese. She wasn't talking clearly. Maybe she she couldn't say it properly. She really meant vagina, but she said cervix. When I asked, I repeated myself over and over, and she said she has to put it in my cervix just a little bit. If I feel any discomfort, I'm like, what? I feel discomfort already. Hell no, you're not doing it. Okay. So that's all it was. You guys are going to get a vaginal ultrasound, and you do not understand. They will explain it to you what they're going to do. Now, if they say anything about pushing anything in your cervix, don't let them do it. They're not trained to do that stuff. Trust me, they're not. Not to go up into your cervix. Because once you pass the barrier, you're, once you go beyond the vagina, that's like going inside your stomach. That's, that's something a doctor or a surgeon or you, if you're in the hospital, it's something they can do in there. They have all the training for all that stuff. Your family doctor, when you go for your physical, your pap test, and they take swabs, and they have to take samples from your cervix. That's what they do. But your your gynecologist, or when they're checking to see how far you're dilating, they're trained for that stuff. But when it's a lab technician, um, or the ultrasound technician, 
sticking stuff inside your cervix, not safe. Unless they're trained and you see a certificate or a diploma of some sort, then okay, fine. But me, I'm not doing that stuff. It was my ch it's my child at the end of the day. It's your child at the end of the day. You're not comfortable with it or you're, you have a second thought, don't do it. Usually your instincts are right. Do not go with it. I never did it. My baby's fine. <laughs> you guys can see I'm so upset about this thing, but it'll pass. But, um, thank you guys for commenting on my videos and letting me know that the vagina ultrasound is not bad. And if you guys weren't telling me that they're not supposed to be sticking stuff in your cervix, I probably wouldn't have gone and did my research. I probably wouldn't have asked my doctor, and I probably wouldn't have found out that they're not supposed to be sticking stuff in your cervix. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was not crazy. <laughs> okay, but anyways, I'm going to post another video because this one's getting too long. See ya.